Yo, what's up guys, Jats here, and back by popular demand, we're doing part two of the background walkthrough, um, and this is where we left off, um, so let's get straight into it and add some more stuff. I'm going to make a new layer just above the background, and um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to the single row marquee tool, which is there, click, uh, all you have to do is click, don't drag it or anything, and then fill that in, make sure it's on a new layer, and just fill that in, and you'll just have one white line like that. Basically, what what we're going to do is make a grid pattern. Uh, now, I have got an actual pattern for this, um, but instead of giving it out and making it easy, I'd rather you learn from it and learn how to do it. Um, so all we're going to do is hold down Command J, and then I'm going to go Shift Up, and we just basically this is what we're going to keep doing. We just want to go in that pattern. So Command J, Shift Up, Command J, Shift Up. Command J, Shift Up, and you just want to keep doing it, and sooner or later we'll have quite a few lines. Um, and then you just merge them, and you can do it again, but it will come out in more lines. So it just gets quicker, and the process um, gets a lot easier. It's just patience, really. If you're doing a massive page of it, it could be a bit annoying, but we're not doing that much of it. Don't worry. Uh, oh, forgot to merge them. That was stupid. Uh, oh yeah, and if you want to know how to quickly merge, it's Command E. It's nice to know shortcuts because once you get used to them, it's a lot easier than manually doing it with the mouse. Uh, do that again. <coughs> Sorry about that. And I think that'll be the last. Yeah, we don't need any more. That'll do. All right. So now we got that, uh, but it's still not a grid. All it is is lines, really. Now you could have it like this. And um, it would look quite nice, but we're not. We're going to do grids. Uh, so duplicate that one, but this time go to Edit, Transform, and Rotate Clockwise. And basically, drag that over there like that. Duplicate that, bring it over to this side. And you've got grids. Now what you want to do is obviously get rid of the bit that you don't need at the bottom here. So I'm just going to marque that all out. Bang. And get rid of that. Right, now you want to go to normal and select overlay, and it will give it a nice little effect there. Um, but we want the grid to fade out, so go to your eraser tool, select a soft brush, and just easily rub that out there like that. So the grids are kind of just coming down from these shapes here, like so. Uh, they don't stand out very well, so what we're going to do is add a new layer, and we're going to add a bit of glowing. Uh, now you can use effects and go to outer glow and stuff, but I like to manually do it because I like to get it in the right place. So just simply do that with a soft brush and you can get a nice glowing effect. Make sure it's on overlay, the layer you do on though. Now if you want to get it brighter, just duplicate it like so. And I'm going to have mine like that. Now doesn't that look nice? Alright, <coughs> let's bring that up a bit. Um, right. And we're going to start off text now. Um, this is where it gets tricky because I'll be testing stuff and nothing will be actually planned. And I'm just going to be changing things around. And it might get confusing, but try stay with me. Um, we'll put tutorial at the top for obvious reasons. And then pick in the font. Um, this could get very boring. You need to find the right font, otherwise it's going to look gay. Uh, that is clearly not the right font. Uh, why does the text box just... Ugh, it's awkward. It won't let me drag it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it and do it again. I'm going to overcome that. It's not going to piss me off. Um, I'm going to make this a bit smaller so it doesn't do that. And then make it bigger if I need to after. I'm not going to use this font anyway because that is horrible. Don't recommend downloading that font. I don't know why I did in the first place. Um, nope. In fact, tutorial's boring. I'm just going to put official strats like it is on my banner. Oh, sorry about that. Um, just had a little interruption. But we'll carry on. Um, finding the font. 
Uh, boo. I think I'm just going to use the one I have now uh, on my layout, which is Typograph Pro. I like this one. It's nice and clean. Um, and then what you can do is uh, go to your settings and make that semi bold. Um, just want the straps bit semi bold. This bit we want to be light, so it's like that. That's if you're doing what I'm doing anyway. Well, you shouldn't be doing official straps, but obviously write what you want, <laughs> and then da da. All right. So we've got the text. Um, let's add a layer style to it. Put stroke in. I'm uh, just do, doing a normal one. In fact, we'll do it purple. A light purple. Like that. Drop shadow. Uh, 90 angle. Distance about 3. Spread. Just mess around with them options and get it something like that. Gradient. Um, we're going to make this a glossy metal. Uh, which I've showed you how to do before on my other um, tutorial. Um, where am I going? Oh yeah, no. two greys like that. A darker grey in the middle. Then pull the light grey at the top down to here. Then put another one there. Make that white. And then I'm just, you just might want to modify this one here, just to make it stand out a bit more. Um, and there we go. Uh, not the most detailed gloss but you can make it better obviously but I want to do it quick because I, I don't want this to take up all our time <clears throat> okay so um, we've got our official strats at the top now uh, I'm going to put that there and I'm going to make a little um, links bar at the top here so just randomly um, I'm just going to try something out so go to rounded rectangular tool if I decide to bail on this idea halfway through don't worry um, but that's just how it goes um, yeah so you want to make sure you've got the layer above these shapes here I'm going to put a line across like that let's put an effect on it for some reason uh, take that off and rasterize that and then I'm going to put my own on drop shadow obviously uh, stroke same color as that stroke there and then change this to a gray like that I don't want full black actually make it a bit lighter so I've got it like that um, I think I'm going to move the official strats layer up a bit like that alright um, <clears throat> now you've got your little bar at the top all I'm going to do is write links on it because there's not. I'm just going to put link 1, link 2, link 3, all that because there's no point putting actual links because I'm not going to use this anyway link 1 uh, make that a bit smaller. And then I'm just going to duplicate it loads of times, <laughs> make things easier. Just pull it across like that. Doesn't matter if it's accurate or the gap sizes are different because I'm not that bothered. And they all still say link one. I've realised that, by the way. <laughs> About two more. And that will do. Uh, just move them all to the right a bit. Trust me, it's going to look better if you haven't got link one, link two. <laughs> a lot better than this, don't worry. Um, two. Realistically, I could have just left them as link 
Link 1, but, well, I could have just put Link and no number, but I can be a perfectionist sometimes. <laughs> Ugh. Trying to, there we go, 6 and 7 and 8. Now, I realise that most people won't have 8 links, but there we go anyway I'm just gonna merge all them because there's no reason why I shouldn't um, but if I was you I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't do that because if you want to change a link you'd be able to go into the text layer and change it this way you can't um, where's my official strats and I'm just gonna copy that put that onto there but then you wanna modify it a bit because the strokes way too big so put that down to normal like that and done. Uh, so we've got our official shirts title and our links at the top. All right. Um, what to do next? Um, well, this takes thinking, and we haven't really got time to think. So I'm just gonna have to. Uh, God knows. Um, I'm gonna duplicate this. Try this out. See if this uh, looks all right. Is that why? Yep. Um, so duplicate that, take the effects off, go to filter, then go to mo blur, and then motion blur. Make sure it's 90 degrees, and distance, uh, put your distance at about 225. Uh, put that underneath. <coughs> Sorry again, I'm coughing. Um, put this in, un oh, not underneath them, just there. And then I'm going to go to normal, click overlay. Um, now that was, that was out of the blue, but that looks okay. Um, if you want to do that effect, you can. If you don't, you don't have to add it. Um, but this is our layout so far. Um, now what I, what I sometimes do, um, I, put a name, I put a name in the middle as well. So if you want to do that, then just do that. You can either duplicate and resize. Uh, there's a chance that it's going to go pixelated if you do, do it like that. But if you want to do it accurately, then just copy the layer style, type it out again and put it there. Um, but it's pretty simple. <coughs> and, uh, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if there's any more we can actually do. Um, I've showed you uh, pretty much how to do this. Um, do the style, so if you wanted to add more with these shapes and uh, bars, then it's all kind of the same thing. Um, just go crazy. Uh, but yeah, um, I think we'll leave it there. I did think this would be more parts, but um, because it's not really planned, I can't think of anything else to add. Um, but what I want you to do is, I want you to like this video, if you could please. And also, I want you to comment, giving me ideas for the next tutorial, what you want to see, um, if there's something on my background, or something on someone else's background which I've made, or anything I've made, that you think, oh, how does he do that? Please just ask me, because um, I've been wanting to do a tutorial um, for like the last week, and I haven't been able to do it until today, because all the suggestions I've had, I didn't really like. So I need a lot of suggestions f uh, for a lot of options to pick from. So if you can give me ideas, um, I'll try to do a tutorial on it. And just, even if it's a, not even a tutorial, give me ideas for a different video, anything. Uh, either message me, comment on my page, but always give me ideas and I can try to get it done. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. Please like the video and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks a lot. Peace. Strats.